Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Well, I'm trying a French style omelet, three egg omelet, and if the power doesn't go out because we've got a storm going on and... Did you hear that thunder? Anyway, they're a lot of fun to make, and let me show you how I do it. First of all, we want to get some chives, and the traditional French omelets are usually made with chives, so we'll dice some of those up and I'll put them in this little cup and then we want to get some heat going on our pan about medium to medium low and make sure you have a good non-stick pan and we've got three eggs and oh ooh, that was fast anyway we get three eggs and we want to really blend them you really have to mix them well so uh, there's no white left and where it all looks exactly the same and so you really want to work on these mix 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 and then we'll put the chives in and continue to mix that pan is heating up now you want to really make sure you've got a good non-stick pan and put a knob of butter in and we'll go ahead and let that melt spread that around these particular omelets are pretty challenging all right I'll mix it some more, and as soon as that butter gets melted, I'll go ahead and put this in, just watching the butter. That looks just about ready. One final mix. All right, in she goes. So far, so good. Okay, how about some salt? Make sure you put enough salt, because there's no nothing but salt and butter. And then we want to start uh, just moving it around. Now the hard part, I suppose, about these omelets is you don't want any color on the omelet at all. You just want it nice and uniform yellow all throughout. The contrast with the chives looks nice. But that's really the hard part is to keep it from getting any color on it and getting it to set. And in fact, it needs to be a little bit creamy still in the middle. So you just work it just like this and I'm gonna go ahead and instead of cutting forward or fast forwarding this I'm gonna go ahead and let you have a good look at what's going on now I'm no expert at this nor do I claim to be and so I'm sure there's other ways to do it and probably better ways to do it but anyway I just wanted to show you one way my way and it has pretty good results and we just keep that moving and we're watching it and the eggs are starting to come together and you kind of have to just keep a close watch on them, move them around, keep them off the bottom as much as possible. And can you see how they're starting to thicken? And you have to pay close attention because you don't want scrambled eggs. And so you have to stop doing this while there's still time for this all to set up as an omelet. So it's getting close. Just keep moving it around, giving it a good stir you want to keep it off the bottom as much as possible because we don't want any color on these eggs now it's time to spread them out because it they're getting thick and so we'll spread them out try to get it off the edge of the pan and also your pan has a lot to do with it you need a really good non-stick pan and that usually means a new one or a newer one and so we're going to let this set up for a, a few seconds about 15 seconds or so I didn't time it and then we're going to start to trying to fold it we we'll just start on that one end and gently roll it roll it over like this it should come right off your pan you can put some butter in the pan and it helps if your pan is not really good and uh, non-stick try to loosen these edges give it time the other hard thing is to get the top to set and to cook. Now, I'm an American, and so I like my eggs done. And uh, I know not everyone likes them that way. Now we're going to try to fold it back from the opposite end just a little, making sure it's not sticking, making sure there's no color on it, giving it time. You have to be patient. Push this to the edge of the pan and I'm tilting the pan up at an angle I hope you can 
tell that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on at this point and let it sit for about two minutes, giving that time to try and set up and cook. It's still pretty runny on top. So we're going to work on that. To me, that's the biggest challenge. So I'm going to go ahead and use my fingers and we're going to gently roll this over because I need to let that cook a little more. So I'll move this to the rounded side of the pan. Now it's bottom down. And there's no color on the top side, so that's the, what we want. And so we're going to let this cook just a bit, maybe 30 seconds. Let me put some more heat on it. Just hold it there against the side of the pan and you just give it a few seconds to firm that up. All right, after about 20 or 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off, put the lid on, let it rest a little bit longer. All right, it's time to take it out of the pan. Flip it back over so I can plate it. That looks pretty good. I don't see any color. It's holding together well. Now all we have to do is put it in the plate. There we go. A beautiful three egg French style omelet. It's not perfect, but it's not bad. Let's give it a, a look inside. All right, that's good. Good for me. I don't like it runny, but it is still very soft and smooth. Let's give this a taste. Mmm, that's delicious. Well, there you have it, a French-style omelet. Hope you give it a try. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.